So in the next video, we're gonna show you the importance of closing your slider doors properly um, and getting the correct seal on the chain bar or if it is a wet seal in between the chain assembly itself. As you can see, the, the seal here has been being closed incorrectly, um, which has caused premature failure of the rubber insert and can also cause product leakage from under the chain flaps, you know, leaking product onto the ground or out of the trailer. All right, so as you can see, the trailer I have behind me now has a proper door seal and is closed correctly. There's a nice tight seal from the top of the door seal all the way across the chain bar, um, allowing no gaps or no areas for anything to come through. So what you want to do is when the door is open, you want to run the conveyor assembly until the chain bar is timed with the door seal. Um, that'll allow you to close the door and get distribution of pressure across the chain bar, allowing a tighter seal um, to prevent product spillage or anything leaking. Also, pre or it'll extend the life of the door seal itself. Uh, once you do have it timed with a chain bar, you can push the flap back up in there and close it down on top of the flap. Um, it's just easier to see it with the chain flap pulled down out of the way. So while rotating the chain assembly, go ahead and pull a flap out of the way so you can see the chain bar. You want to time the chain bar with the door seal so you can close it and get a proper seal. Once that's achieved, you can go ahead and put the flap back down and close the door. So once that's done, you have a nice tight seal and are ready to be loaded. If you do find these videos helpful, please view our other how-to videos on our YouTube channel, or you can visit us at www.trinitytrailer.com. <laughs>